and look at that beautiful effect. Now you can achieve that effect very easily with Wood u a brand new company here to or a new supplier to h o t a n d a It is extraordinary things that you can do with this wood. They're good product, but that bends around the edges that you can mold it against maybe furniture that you have got and you want to upcycle. Maybe just decorate your frames. Maybe incorporate them in things that are completely and utterly spheric, so you can see how it bends and molds itself. Towards whatever shape you have got in here, and the only thing you need a little bit of heat, I believe, and of course is wood u b e n d So we have got brand new products, of course, because wood u b e n d is a brand new supplier here at h o t a n d a and we have got Sue who is going to teach us how to use it. Hi. Hello, Sue. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. Now, of course, um, you are, it's your first time at h o t a n d a It is. Yes. <laughs> are you excited? I am, yes. <laughs> Now, good you, Ben. Can you tell us how? The, what's the company background? Um, the company background is um, the mouldings um, came into the UK about two years ago. Um, they are made from wood, as the name suggests, and you're very correct in saying that if you, um, when you add some heat, they will bend. Um, so they will contour to practically any surface um, with with just a, a little heat. So you can decorate many, many things Fabulous. with them. Now, uh, now, how did you come to work with Wood u b e n d um, I actually went to do a workshop about two years ago, and uh, oh. here I am, two years later, representing the company as an ambassador for Wood u b e n d And I'm very happy to do that because I absolutely love the product. You can do so much with it. Fabulous, fabulous! Thank you so much. So we are going to have a look. Of course, we will join uh, Sue in a bit to see how you work it. But we are we are going to start with the first item that we have got, and it's a lucky dip. Basically, you are getting two, uh, well, 215 centimeters, which is two 2.15 cent uh, meters of either trim. So you are either going to get this beautiful r o g e or this one. So well, either way is absolutely stunning. This is slight difference, but you can see that, of course, they are both stunning, and both of them will come with a, a flower embellishment. So whichever one you receive will have that flower embellishment. Now, 13 pounds and five pence is the price for this brand new uh, product. Now, 10% already has gone. If you want to grab yours, the item number that you want to take note is 598. 308. Then we have got another. Oh, I love this one. Already, also very, very busy for this one. It is very delicate, very beautiful, and you can see it here. How lovely it is that. How beautiful, tiny detail. Now this one, of course, is two. Point f no, 2.15 uh, meters or 215 centimeters trim, and of course you are then getting four flowers. You know the poppy, the large rose, and two of the smaller rose. They are very beautiful and detailed. I absolutely love this. The uh, 20% of the stock has already gone, and I just wanted to show you how that beautiful trim. Look at that! Look at that! Is, is this really now? Look at also the trim on the back. Look at the detail. How it has molded. It looks like a cord. It's not anymore that it looks like wood. It looks like a cord, and it is. It's that sort of effect that is incredible. And of course, then you can bring your paints and your finishes to it, and kind of finish it off. And then the flowers, of course, you can then use them for decorative elements like so. Or our well, not our directors this hour, but the, the director next hour favorite. You know, <laughs> you can see the rabbit here. Look at that beautiful flower. How you can decorate it. So imagine adding those flowers even onto the shape, the vintage shape of the ears, and then it kind of slots perfectly in between them. <laughs> over already over 20 percent of the stock has already gone. Please. Check out your baskets as soon as you make the decision. It's going to be a very busy show, and if you do not want to miss out, the only way to do that is to take note of the item number 264701. Check out your baskets, and you are going to pay 14 pounds and 99 pence plus PMP if you are not a Freedom member. This one caught my eye. Isn't it just gorgeous? It's just beautiful. It's so detailed. It's like a medallion with all those kind of highlights and lowlights. If you can see them here, with those center dots in there, it looks 
out of the pack it looks like sand castle like a sand castle detail but of course it has got wood content so it will work uh, in many ways like wood um, now you are in this one you are getting of course you are getting a trim as well which is 2.15 meters or 215 centimeters with that beautiful floral look at that such a great detail then you are getting the floral center plug as well as the flourishes that one this is a um, this one is to me the one that i would go for because it gives me a trim it gives me a focal point and it gives me two adornal elements 27 pounds and 99 pence is your price look how it has bent it let, let me rotate it so you can see how it, it has molded itself to the size those an even size look at that how gorgeous is that that looks like an amazing work of masonry whether you can to have it very easily done 27 pounds and 99 pence is, is the price for these three items well four items actually nine two five eight one six is your item number and last but not least, we have got, now if you want corners, if you want to upcycle furniture and you give that wow factor, this one is definitely for you. You are getting, of course, those two mirror corners, so it's perfect for centrally uh, that element. Uh, then you have got the one, of course, the, the scroll, uh, the iris pendant, so you can see it here, which that one can be used. I'm going to let that or it could be like uh, as a corner or it could be like upside down like that as well so the, oh, this one oh this one i'll, I'll multiply and then oh i'm just I'm getting very excited here and then of course uh, the, look at this one the trim in here that you are getting now look at how beautiful tiny detail this reminds me so much of those beautiful manor houses, you know, the properties from the National Trust and things like that. You go in and then you have got all that carvings that, you know, from the masters from the past. This is what the sort of thing that the effect that you have got. But of course, you have got the ability to then transform completely. Look at that. I mean, like jars. I mean, how pretty is that? A glass jar and then completely transform it it is phenomenal i love the detail and of course you can see in some of the samples in here how you know you can bring your mixed media techniques your acrylic paints your rustic patinas your oxidization process and look at creating and then becomes like iron broad kind of things that have been outside over the time and they have got that time element to it if you want to go for this bundle of course it features the brackets and the scroll uh, and the pendant uh, the item number is 084834 pounds and 50 pence and let's have a look at it in action so sue take it away hi everyone so uh, you were talking there about the, the first uh, price point kits there. Yeah. Um, so I've chosen to um, put this on a bottle. Yes. Uh, it's a very good way to start with your woodie bend, to have a, a practice and get some uh, woodie bend onto you, to your decorative items there. So all I've done is I've taken an a empty wine bottle, had pleasure in emptying it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <And laughs> I recognise um, that bottle, actually. You do. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. They, they do uh, decorate up really nicely. Um, and I've sponged some of my um, decorative um, paste all over, which yep. gives a sort of a sea glass effect. And then I've um, just added a little bit of rice paper. Perfect. And then to the magic. Okay. So, um, because I'm demoing here today, I've actually got um, the items on a, a griddle. Um, and when they warm, that's when the magic happens. In a griddle? You can, yeah, you can bend them. Ah. And as they cool, um, it will stay to that contour. Okay. So I'll show you that now. I'm just going to give it a little bit more heat to put around the neck of this bottle. Um, they are, as you said, made from wood, so they have all the same properties. Um, you can actually paint them, wax them, stain them drill them. I, I have been sent with a drill, I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> so I might show you the, the, the drilling part shortly. Um, and as I said, most excitingly, we can bend them. So I'm just going to warm that a little bit more and we'll pop that on there. So you put it on a griddle and then you put even more heat yeah, with it? Um, only because I haven't got this very, really high because I don't want to sort yeah. of 
set light to them, which I have been known to do. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to give that a little bit more heat. You don't need a griddle, you don't even need a heat gun, you can mm. just use a, a, a hair dryer. Oh, a hair dryer, yeah. So a hair dryer or a heat gun that you may have at home, practice at home, you can use that straight away and then... Can you overheat it then? Just to make sure they're really nice and bendy yep. and then you always use a good quality wood glue. Okay. Um, even as I'm doing here, adding to glass, uh, it's always got to be a wood glue. Yeah, we, I think if you look on the website, we do have got wood glue. So. Sorry? Oh, no. Oh, no, actually no, we don't. No. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, look, yeah. Uh, any good yeah. quality wood glue will be fine. This, this nice thick white stuff. So no matter what you're applying to, wood, metal, glass, plastic, it's always got to be the wood glue. Okay. So getting plenty of glue on there. Um, and then, now this is nice and flexible, I'm just going to simply use the front. I'm going to bend that all the way around the neck of the bottle. It's really simple and um, because this is nice and warm and it's softened it will adhere and consolidate with surface so it will bend and just give that a little bit more heat as I'm moving it round. And the good thing about them being heated is as well, because no surface is completely flat. Yes. So it just makes sure that it's adhered completely to the ah. surface. And how long does it take to, to cool down? It takes um, about the same time for each trim as it takes to heat up. So ah. depending on the thickness of the trim, yeah. um, that's how long it takes. So Gosh. as I'm moving around, this is cooling slightly, so that's why I'm applying a little bit more heat as I go. Okay. These trims are great because, as you said, there's over two metres in each of these, so there's plenty to go around, a piece of furniture. The thinner ones you can even apply to a lampshade. Oh, that would be cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can transform, so you can attach it to fabric as well? Um, to something rigid, some rigid fabric yeah. like a lampshade, yeah. Mm. So when you're cutting the woody bone, make sure they're nice and warm and they really cut very easily. Okay. And do you need any special no. equipment to cut it or? Sorry? To cut it. Do you uh, need I'm going to use um, a Stanley knife. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the thinner ones you can use scissors. Okay. Um, they're really, you can see oh, that that's went through. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. And with the overspill of glue, yeah. just going to get a little bit more glue under that last bit there. A bit more heat. <laughs> It looks amazing. It looks like a robe. Like it's, it's Im incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those magical things. And then I'm just going to make a little diagonal cut in that top one as well, just to tidy that cut up. So are you holding it together to make contact with the glue? Yeah, I'm now, because this is all nice and warm, mm -hmm. I'm pushing that down firmly to the surface and it will just um, form to the yeah. contour of that piece. Yeah. Um, if you get any overspill of glue, which it just means that the wood you bend moulding yeah. is adhering perfectly to that surface, you can just simply wipe it away with a baby wipe. Okay. Just going to make sure that's fixed down, nice and solid. Okay, and you make you need to make sure that it's secure, right? Make sure it's secure. Yeah. Okay, okay. and that is now. Perfect. Adhered to the piece yeah. and it becomes very strong because it consolidates with the surface that you've added it to. Ah, um, so it's nice and solid. It's yeah. That strengthens it. Um, and, and now once, once it's like this, it can be painted and decorated. You can, yeah, you can paint it, you can sand it so you could distress it, you can ah. wax it, you can stain it and because it's like raw wood, it will soak up the stain 
Um, and you can see there that I've put some stain on a piece. Oh. Um, and you get that beautiful stain wood effect. That's, that's fabulous. Okay. Thank you, Sue. We are going to remind everybody of the first two items in here that we have got. Now, we have got a lucky uh, dip, which means that you are going to get either or these trims. Now, whichever trim you are going to receive is absolutely fabulous. And you are going to get like two, pa two meters uh, by 15, um, two 2.15 uh, meters. That's the best way, I think, to put it because otherwise sometimes it gets confusing. But whatever you weigh, uh, whichever one you are going to get is absolutely delightful. Uh, of course, it will have it got all the beautiful qualities that Sue was showing. And I need to say it is incredibly busy. Already a quarter of the stock has already gone. Now it comes, we either our choice will come with a beautiful flower to decorate. I'm going to bring this sample in here because I absolutely love the way that it kind of molds against the roundedness of this. Just tiny details like here, then at the bottom in the here you can see there, and then there. Can you see how gorgeous suddenly it elaborates, incorporates it perfectly? If you want yours, of course, remember it's a lucky dip, but you, whichever one you are going to get, uh, you are going to get the 2.15 uh, meters. 598308 is your item number. Moving down to the next one, uh, this is our most popular, and I'm not surprised. You are getting again that two me over two meters in length of this gorgeous stream that you can see it here. The most delicate and beautiful of streams, and then of course we have got the, you are going to get four flowers. I absolutely love this flower. It's kind of a a wild rose, isn't it? Uh, now, uh, then you are getting, of course, the two little ones as well. Look at them. A third of the stock has already gone. And look at that. Look at I love this. I love how the trim, it looks like the robes. It looks like that core that goes in. I love how you can decorate something and make it incredibly regal by adding those uh, beautiful elements into it. The flowers, of course, we can put them in here. If you can see, look at that. That gorgeous. I mean, like, look at the bunny. It's okay. And of course, you can see the flowers in here and then in here. Sorry, sorry, bunny. I'm gonna just move you along so to show the flower. It's a very, very nice eyes. Love here she's got. Uh, there you have it. And now, of course, the flowers you can incorporate them and then maybe do them on the top of something like this as well. So you can see how a soap dispenser suddenly, or maybe cotton, but you know these sort of things in the bathroom, then suddenly become really luxurious and ornamental. Looks like actually uh, they're Victorian as well. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price for this. Over a third of the stock is gone already. So if you want yours, your item number is 264701. This one, well, do you know what? I kind of say that I'm, you know, it's hard to pick a favorite because this one, I kind of love the ornateness and beautiful uh, decorative element of all this beautiful, uh, you know, the central plaque. Here, look at the detail in here. And remember, you can bend it, you can drill it, you can sand it, you can paint it, you can wax it, you can antique it. There's so much you can do. Imagine those boxes. Maybe you have got those cardboard boxes that are beautiful, but you want to make them even stunning projects. This, think about gluing this on the top, maybe at the bend, maybe cut it in half. Remember in this one, oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, no, it's just a little bit of uh, something Something went out the, the other way. Anyway, <laughs> now you are getting 215 centimeters over two meters in that beautiful trim. And then, of course, you are getting these floral uh, scrolls. You are getting two of them. So you can then use them as you wish. So you could create a little border like that or maybe just put them like uh, like this as well. There are so many ways of using this one. Now, 925816 is your item, but 27 pounds and 99 pence. And finally, we have got the brackets ones. The I love this one as well, because it has got that feature, that focal point, that you can incorporate them like this or like that, you know, sideways. There's so many ways of using this one. Uh, that one, of course, is the iris uh, pediment, and it comes in as well with the two brackets in here here the scroll brackets and that beautiful decorative trim in here you can see the detail in here of the uh, 
beautiful trim. Isn't it gorgeous? And of course, once that you incorporate them, you kind of, the way that you gild it and you wax it and you make it into kind of something incredibly sophisticated and luxurious. If you want to go for this one, 084834 is your item number, 38 pounds and 50 pence. And we are gonna head up back to Sue for more, de more demonstrations. Hi, yeah, just gonna finish this off and I also wanted to just point out that you can, um, you can see I've taken this little rose off that I'm gonna add. You can see, I don't know if that's picking up, you can see how that's bending. Um, you can paint um, the mouldings before you add them, so. Okay, um, so I just, do sorry. you prefer to paint them before or after? It depends what I'm doing really. So I'm just gonna add this little rose just here. Um, so obviously it'd be a little bit tricky to paint it while it's on there. Okay, yep. So on this occasion I'm going to paint and you'll see that the mouldings, because they are like raw wood, it's soaking that right up. Um, I'm using these beautiful gold pigments to get that beautiful oh. liquid gold on there. And look at how that covers. Do they, do, do you find that they're mediums that, do you like prefer acrylic paints or waxes or um, all goes? Just about everything. I mean, I've tried so many different things on these mouldings. I don't think there's anything that's not gone on them. So um, I'm, I'm oh, really wow. in love with these, these gold pigment powders at the moment um, because the color is just stunning. Yeah, so it is. Because I've been painting that and it's cooled slightly, I'm just a tiny little bit more heat. I'm sorry about the noise of the heat gun. I but, Would you make sure that the paint that you're putting, if you're painting it before, is heat resistant? So they're kind of... Um, you can always just flip them over and heat the back, so oh. it's not really a problem. That's a very good one, yeah. It's not a huge amount of heat that it needs, to be honest, uh, especially for something small like this. Oh, look at my glue brush. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. Got plenty of glue on there. So just adding the glue to the back there. And then to finish this piece off, I'm just gonna pop that on there. And that will just mould to that surface. And the thing is that it will go around. Um, it will contour to the surface that you're adding it to. Mm -hmm. So, and that's just finish that piece off. Mm -hmm. so Brilliant. That, that, I mean, and how amazing that looks, and so quickly. Can yep. you show us some, something else? Or? Yep, um, I'll just pop that to one side. We'll put that on the shelf. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is this flower pot. So uh -huh. that's your second yeah. um, kit over there. The, the most popular one, actually, that's is the, the one that comes one. with the four, <laughs> four roses. 40% already of really? the stock has wow. already gone. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. Um, this, this, I love this beautiful little rope trim, and these flowers are gorgeous. So we've gone for uh, uh, a real pop of colour on this one because um, the weather's... Yeah changed again. Sue, could I ask you to move the, the oh, bottle that one aside? As well. yeah, yeah, thank you. That one. Yeah, that's <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Is that better? Looking. So now you can see. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So that's your trim um, and then you've got your um, four beautiful flowers there. Fabulous. So we'll start that one now. So yeah. I'll just put that, I'll put that on the yeah. shelf. Now, I have a question. For outside, can we put these items outside? You can. And actually, when we um, had the really bad storms uh, earlier in the year, I painted some plant pots, um, added the mouldings, and I put them out. I'm trying to think. We had Storm Kira and Storm Dennis, oh, yeah. and the mouldings uh, survived both oh. fantastically, untouched. So, yes, Fabulous. you can. So just give them a good coating of your normal outdoor yeah. varnish, and they'll be absolutely fine. So, mm. right, I've got my trim, this beautiful little trim that you have over the here. So yes. that's already yeah. nice and softened. So I'm going to put the glue around the top there. Yeah. This top tip, don't leave your brush in the glue pot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Is, is it water-based, the wood glue? It's got to be wood glue. Yeah. So now we're going on to a, a, a terracotta pot, but I'm still using wood glue. You can add the glue to the moulding, as you saw I did with the little rose. Yes. Um, but when I'm doing trims and I'm wrapping them round, it's just so much easier to add to the, the item. Mm. As I said, it will just wipe off with a baby wipe. So it's, don't worry if you get any extra on there. Nice and messy. <laughs> mm. So we've got that on there. Um, and I have turned my griddle up a little bit, so this is nice and softened. Oh, perfect, yeah. 
I just kind of want to, to let you know that we are halfway uh, through the show. Halfway through, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if, um, because you know, um, some some of our well, I use a lot of a gel medium, uh, artist quality gel medium yeah. to glue things like you know wood derivatives. So, I wonder if that would work as well. Um, well, we always recommend the wood glue. So yeah. yeah, it would have to be something that we could try. We yeah. could have a look at that. So I'm just gonna because this is cooling. This is a thinner trim, so this is you can see cooling quicker than the, the thick one. Yeah. So just, just heat that. The benefit being that it heats up really quickly as well, so you can see that's yeah. real nice and soft again. I love this one. I just, well, I love them all, to be honest. Yeah, I've there's so many. It. Over 3,000 designs, and there's already 450 oh, um, available. Yeah. And, and I love the idea that you can do, so for instance, if somebody goes for this one, can do maybe the trim and put the flowers, and then hopefully next time incorporate other items that you know the yeah later. Um, and you don't have to add this just to one project so um, never throw any of your scraps away either That's a good point. Um, I yeah. think there's an item behind you wherever the chest where I've used all little bits and pieces ah. to make those wings oh yeah that one yeah that's it yeah nice. so you can split these items up as well and make other other items from them <sighs> Gorgeous. I love that ability that you know in this one you are getting of course two over two meters of trim absolutely four flowers as well so yeah so yeah. you could you could use just one flower on a project um, just on the corner of a, a photo mm -hmm. frame or something like that and it would just make it your own unique individual item mm -hmm. nobody else will have it yeah. <laughs> Approaching 50% of the stock for this uh, bundle. So if you want yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets to make sure that you do not miss out. Remember that the baskets uh, empty themselves, uh, refresh themselves every 10 minutes. So if you put them at the beginning and you haven't checked out, well, when it gets very busy, you might miss out. So do not do that. Just check out them. Okay. Uh, uh, and is there a particular, so I guess a warm room uh, would be better than a cold room? Um, it, it really doesn't make any difference okay. because you're applying heat directly to the item, so that's, okay. that's not a problem. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, don't <laughs> worry. Oh, that's welcome to the world of live TV. <laughs> you haven't, you know. Right, so I'm coming to where, back to where I started. So I'm going to just trail this little piece off along here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get another brush because that one is covered in glue. Um, and you'll see now that I'm going to add the glue just to the back of the, sorry, more heat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to just add this bit of glue directly to the back of the moulding. Okay. I, I just find fascinating that wood would bend so well and it's would, yeah. incredible isn't it it is so you'll see I'm gonna get a little bit of heat up on there and that means that that will push down over that lip and just mold to mm. it okay. right over that corner there yeah. so they will bend at sort of 90 degrees and more to the surface that you're adding them to. So, so you can just wipe away the excess glue. Um, mm. And then I'm gonna take this, this rose here, just give it a little bit more heat, that's a bit thicker. Okay. And you see that's bending. Yeah. Wow. This is incredible. Yeah. Now, if you are using a hair dryer, I would imagine it would take a little bit longer. A Li little think? bit longer, yeah. yeah. I mean, if there's something that you're going to start using a lot, um, and I'm sure you'll get hooked when you've tried this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you could definitely invest in a, in a heat gun. Mm. So I'm going to get plenty of glue on there because it's um, mm. a contoured surface. Yeah. And I'm just going to pop the rose on there, mm. push it down, and that will mold to that surface. And the good thing is as well, you can see that I'm, a, I'm using pressure there, but because these are made from wood and they're precast, 
they're not squashing. Yeah. So if you've um, if you've tried clay molds and things, you know that they can be a little bit tricky when you're adding them because you can squash yes. them. So and no, I, no and I love the way that you have hidden this the beginning of that yeah. with the trim like this. So you can see that's popped on there. Look at that! Doesn't it look amazing? And even I like it as it is. I mean, even before you take the paint to it, it looks it looks really yeah. beautiful like that. It's a lovely color in itself. It's not like it's not one of those materials that you say you need to cover it up. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah. Um, so actually, I can I'm going to pop these on here, and I'm just going to leave this one. And also, if um, you see that I've contoured that flat yeah. to the pot, however, if you wanted to heat this. that nice and soft um, you could depending on what you're adding it to you could pop those petals up and if I hold those there and just push down in the middle that will cool and you mm -hmm. can get a 3d effect yeah. so you'll see that you see yeah. I don't know if that's picking up so those those leaves are curled up oh yeah, yeah. we can see it we yeah. can see it properly <laughs> yeah so you've got that option as well um, and then I've got two of these beautiful little roses again that we used on the first piece. Mm -hmm. um, and they're nice and warm, so just pop a little bit of glue on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and look at that. Oh, look at that. Pop that one on. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Heat. <laughs> so the heat is just really helping that adhere to the surface and contour Love with that. it. It just makes me smile and it's just not like <laughs> I have the biggest smile on my face because I just think this is absolutely gorgeous and so easy. Absolutely, anybody can do it. Um, so, and you can brilliant. just take an ordinary everyday, I mean that was just a, a an ordinary yeah, terracotta. Yeah. yeah, that is amazing. Now, of course, at home, if you want to go for something, well, actually, the one that uh, that Sue was using is that one in here. But we are gonna uh, remind you, uh, everybody, of the lucky dip first. Now, this one, the lucky dip, is the because there is two different designs, trims, and you might get this one or you might get that one. We cannot uh, reassure you of which one you are gonna get. It's a lucky dip, hence the name. But in any case you are going to get also the rose the flower in here and also you are going to get in of that trim you are going to get of course the two uh, to 115 centimeters over two meters of trim so whichever one you go uh, you are going to receive is to over two meters five nine eight three zero eight is your item number 13 pounds and five pence now moving on you know the most popular one now i kind of want to bring her over because there is this lady over here Shall I, shall I, shall I get it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, actually it's very light. I want to bring her over because, can you see her hair? Can you see her hair? Can you see that? Isn't that amazing? Now that has been done with this trim that is incorporated in that one. Look at that. Can you see, like we were like uh, our floor manager and our director, they thought that it, were ma it was metal. And this is what you can see that it will do. It will mold perfectly, creating those glorious kind of, you know, waves of the head in there. This is the thing that you can do something incredible like that. So we look at that. She has got two sides. Uh, now, of course, if you want to go for a D, uh, you know, the most popular of the items in here, this one is, of course, you are getting, again, two, 215 centimeters or over two meters of this beautiful, delicate trim. Then you are getting the four flowers for just 14 pounds and 98 pence. Half the stock has already gone. And I love the fact that the flowers, like, like Sue was showing, you can upcycle your terracotta pots. Think about your metal, uh, you know, t coffee tins that you may have. Paint them. Thinking about maybe your bunny rabbit, if you like it, to put a little flower in there in between uh, the ears. And look how it has bended perfectly uh, and sits in the middle just magnificently. Look at that. 
Oh, she's a poser, isn't she? <laughs> there we have it. If you want to go for this bundle, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 264-701. I love the ability to decorate things and upcycle it. Of course, our Catherine, I think, is on the phone. She must be, because she, you know, knowing Catherine, our uh, Catherine Sura, she loves to upcycle. And these are phenomenal for that. I love this bundle for that reason. You Again, you are getting a meter and you're getting 215 centimeters or over two meters of this glorious uh, wood. Good, you bet. Uh, trim now of course you then you have got the beautiful uh, scrolls in here you have got two and then you have got the center plaque now the center plaque is just a stunning 27 pounds and 99 pence nine two five eight one six I absolutely adore that one. I think that the fact that you can drill into it, cut them in half, you can glue them, you can mold them, you can, I mean, so many different things you can do. And it's worth, and sand them as well, and pay, bring your mediums in here. Now, of course, if you want, uh, there is a couple, oh uh, yeah, the, the, oh, this one's, because that one is part of this bundle as well. Drill them, sand them, paint them, wax them, stain them. Uh, you can see in here that you have got a lot of different ways of using them. And I love how, now, this is a good point. Can you see that gold, such a beautiful gold? Now, sometimes when you think about porcelain, you don't think that it's gonna contain the gold as well. So that is the, what is so amazing about the wood you made. 27 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 925816 is your item number. I love. And now our last item that we have got for you is the brackets. The oh, I love this one. The iris uh, pendiment. I love that because it is, it's, this is transport transports me into those beautiful, big, grandia houses and those carvings that are so incredible. Uh, now, of course, you get in two brackets as well as that kind of 215 uh, centimeters or over two meters of that beautiful trim. This one is really like arts and crafts, that kind of you know William Morris inspired sort of nature uh, elements in here. Again, it behaves exactly the same way, so you can cut it, you can mold it, you can drill it. And your item number 084-834, pounds and 50 pence. And let's see what Sue has got next to show us. Hi. Uh, well, I'm going to be moving on to this crate, but just before I do, you were talking about the last item there. Um, and that piece, um, the pediment, um, you can actually split the mouldings up. So ah. on the piece of furniture, yes. um, the... I can see. <laughs> um, I've split the pediment, so um, that's it's that piece over there. So I've cut it, um, and then I've cut this middle piece and turned it to put over the sorry, to and fro in over the handle there. Yeah. So you can actually get more than one piece from a moulding. So I've used one, two. Uh, I've split these three, four pieces out of that one moulding, so you don't have to use it as it as a whole piece. Oh, I see. That makes a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, you kind of stretch it out more. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can add it to different pieces. And similarly, with um, the the third kit there, wow. um, I've added to this crate. So this I is the um, the finished crate on the top here yeah. where I've, I've decorated it. So the that piece there, this beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can see that's oh. really nice and flexible. You, you, you have put it on the griddle before. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's been on the griddle. Yeah. Um, I've halved that. Um, you could, in fact, pop that centre out. Um, oh, yeah, you could lovely. quarter it. Yeah. There's lots of different things you can do with that. So you could add that to several different projects. Uh, for this one, I've, I've cut it in half. Um, so, and to do that, because it's been on the griddle, it's nice and warm, as I've just shown you. Um, I can just take a ruler and very mm -hmm. simply. Yeah. By the way, we do have got, if you want acrylic paints, uh, metallic acrylic paints, we do have got on the website, we have got a seven day savers. Uh, luckily, you are getting three of the silver and two of the gold. There they are, 9.99. So each of them is contains 75 mil. So you are getting a lot for your money. 9.99 is the price. And having that beautiful metallic luster. So that will work very well with the gorgeous. Um, would you bend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that that cut very simply in half. Oh, I love that. 
with the um, warmed up and yeah. just using a standing knife there. Um, and as I said, these are made from wood, so you can sand them. So where I've got that cut edge, yeah. I can just simply go over, take ah. some paper. Yeah. So that kind of makes the ridges more, yeah. more rounded. Yeah, and just yeah. round that edge off. Okay. Um, in the same way, you can also distress. So I've got a little piece yeah. of the mosaic trim there, which ah. I've painted. And you can sand that. We need a coarser sandpaper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. And you, you have got about 15... We have got 15 minutes on the show, so I just to let you know. Right, OK, then. <laughs> So coming okay. back to the cranes. I love that. So this that. is the yeah. stage where I've added all the pieces on. And I'm just going to show you how that trim goes around, how it'll bend right around those corners. Yes, that would be good. Now, I have to say, I adore it just as it is as well. Because it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, because it is wood, you've got all the beauty of the natural wood yeah. on there. Absolutely. So that's added on. And it, and it feels very natural at the same it time. It is very natural, yeah. It's made from wood pulp, so yeah. it's a very uh, lovely natural product. Pop that down there, sorry. Yeah. Um, so I've got my trim uh, being warming on the griddle, but I'm, as always, I'm just going to give it a little bit extra heat yeah. to make sure it's nice and warm. Um, before I do that, <clears throat> I'll just add the glue to the surface. So, oh, it's going everywhere. I'm going to show you how it'll go right around that corner as well. Yeah. That really was a mistake, leaving the brush in the pot. <laughs> All right, yeah, let me get a glue. Press in. So getting plenty of glue on there. Warm this up. thick trim that you're getting with this one. Oh, look at that. So you can I just see think there's something really nice about when it bends. So Yeah, can you see how that's bending right around that corner? And that will adhere perfectly along that edge. Yeah. And then you can go all the way around with your trim. And just wipe away the glue. And does the, uh, this, glue, um, this glue dry clear or? It does dry clear, okay. yes. <coughs> okay. But it's really easy. If you, if you wipe it away straight away, it's, it'll yeah. come off mm -hmm. with no problem. I'm just making okay. sure that's all stuck down. Do you store the trims in a, in a grip bag or something like that? Or um, they're just stored in a reel, so um, okay. they're easily stored like that. So if you have any trim left over, if you're doing a project and you have some trim left over, you're best mm -hmm. to just then recoil it because you can reheat these mouldings as many okay. times as you like. If you put them on a project and you're not too sure or you yeah. don't like it, you can reheat them and gently remove them. So you can, if you want to pimp your pumpkins at, in October, you can um, put them on a pumpkin, a real pumpkin, and then you can remove them when... Oh, when that's far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't need to be in uh, an air uh, airtight uh, container or anything. Oh, no, like. no, no. These are stable as they are. So okay. um, they're just like wood, basically. Yeah. Um, so no need to store them in a bag. So I'm going to get some more glue on there. And also, they, they are lightweight. I mean, they are not that heavy. No, they're not heavy at all. So they're ideal for adding to lots of different projects. Mm. So just going to reheat that again. And as a matter of fact, if you keep your 
the um, the trims in a the coil, they're so much easier to heat because you just target in the heat oh, at one course. area. Yeah. So it makes it easier on your next project. So that's a good tip. So you yeah. can see the glue squashing yeah. out there. It yeah. just means that that wood is consolidating with that surface perfectly. Well, it's easy enough. I've probably got a bit too much glue on that <laughs> one, but <laughs> but it works the way easily. Yeah. So that will f that will form perfectly to the surface. Mm -hmm. So there's no gaps or anything like that, so you're getting a really nice, it, it becomes part of the piece. Mm -hmm. so you can mm -hmm. see how nicely that's gone. There's no gaps along there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, yeah. So I'm going to just cut that off there and then I'll show how to put the circular piece on. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, it's not a problem to come back and join that later. I can just reheat that. Okay. Um, add some glue to the edges, and that will form perfectly back together. That's a good, that's a very good point. So we can leave it at any point. Yep. Come back later. Absolutely. Okay. And if you uh, happen to break a moulding because in its um, in this state it's 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 yeah. brittle if you haven't warmed it. Yeah. So I could warm those two pieces, add some glue, and that will stick back together perfectly. Perfect. So even then, it's, and also I think because of the nature of the designs, it wouldn't matter if there's a tiny little element that joins. You won't actually get that. It will just meld back together wow. so perfectly, you won't even see the join. Wow. Um, once it's warmed, it will really, I'm going to say smush, I want to say. Yeah, well, <laughs> smush back that, together. That works for me. <laughs> so um, with this piece here, it's been on the, the griddle, so yeah. it's all nice and soft. Wow. So I'm going to add the glue directly to that because it's it's quite lacy and delicate. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put glue everywhere, as I've just been doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And do you have to put glue all over it, or you have to? Um, as much as you can, yeah, as okay. long as you're getting it around the edges. And you can see how the glue works anyway. When I heat it, it's spreading under the surface. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if, you, if you've missed a bit, it will spread from a different area anyway. But yeah, just, just get a good coverage on there. So I'll just turn that, put some heat on it. And then <clears throat> press that down. So it's all nicely contoured to the surface. Okay. That, I just love it how simple it is, how beautiful so simple. it looks. And as I said, you can sand it so you can come back in there if you've got any edges so where it's a little bit raised. I can just go over with my sandpaper because it's wood. <laughs> yes, of course. And then oh, I've got my black paint on there. Looks but I like it like that as well. <laughs> that looks nice. There's so many different finishes you can achieve with this. Yeah. So I um, love, I love it. Thank beautiful. you so much, Sue. Uh, now, of course, um, you know, Would You Bend is an amazing product because you can bend it, you can sand it, you can drill it. Uh, and, of course, we have got different trims. Now, in the first one, it's a lucky dip. You have got two designs that you may get one. You will get one of them. We cannot tell you exactly which one. It's a lucky dip. But whichever one you are going to get, you are going to get 215 centimeters or over 2 meters. And also, whichever one you are going to get, you are going to get one of the roses in here. You can see it. Now, 13 pounds. And, and, and five pence will deliver you the ability to kind of decorate those gorgeous projects, bend around the um, you know rounded shapes, square, making sure that you know those boxes, for instance, just very you know nice sturdy boxes, but they are just boxes. You can transform them into treasure chests by using these trims around the edges, the top and the lids. Uh, now, of course, the flowers. Combine them with your rice papers to create very decorative elements, plaques for the home, something that looks incredibly expensive. 13 pounds and five pence is the price for the 215 centimeters of that lucky dip trim, as well as the rose 598308. And then, of course, we have got the most popular item. Over half of the site has already gone of those gorgeous. I love. 
I love this one. Uh, well, I love them all, but, uh, but this one is just such a delicate one. It's so beautiful. Imagine going around, maybe your, like I was saying, maybe something that is, has been seen better days. Maybe a cabinet that you have got. You can multiply it, of course you can, and then you will have more meters. And then all around the mirror, exactly. If you have got a very plain mirror and you want to jazz it up, this will be a perfect. Now, of course, it comes with four flowers in here, which are extraordinarily beautiful, and you can that use them to decorate. Remember that you can cut them. So for instance, not that this is the case, but for instance, in here, you can see it. So imagine if you have got a flower and you want to create something like that, you could do this, something like that, cut inside it to create that kind of a little head, a bonnet. It's a bonnet, right? Uh, now, of course, then you can use the flowers to decorate them and give them that kind of Victorian look to them. Uh, and then, of course, you can put them into your rabbit if you wanted to and look at that look how gorgeous they can go inside it and paint them gilding waxes you know your pigment and metallic pigments uh, there's so many different ways of course you are getting that 215 centimeters or over two meters of the trim 264 701 is your item number 14 pounds and four pence and 99 pence sorry then we have got of course the, the item that sue was just using the bundle that has got a trim yes it does embellishment yes of course it has got the floral the floral scrolls but also that beautiful stunning central plaque remember that it can be cut in half like sue was doing imagine maybe you have got like I don't know, maybe a cabinet. Maybe you have got something that you want to, you know, make it a little bit, you know, just give it a little bit more of a, a stunning sentiment. Look at that, how gorgeous it's that. Cut it in half and of course use the trim that is included in this bundle, 925816. 27 pounds and 99 pence is the price for all four items. And then finally, the f oh, I love this one as well. I don't know which one is my favorite. Um, this one has got the brackets, the pendant, as well as a trim. Now the trim, remember, they are over two meters in length. So you have got the, so much scope to decorate your projects. You have got, of course, those brackets in here. And I love the idea of using the brackets, even just like this, just, just something like this. How gorgeous are they? You know, it's just so decorative. Oh, you could just use them, maybe, I don't know, something <gasps> like this. I like that. Just like that, like a diamond. Imagine that. Imagine in the garden, because remember, they can be outside as long as you cover them with, with acrylic paint or something that will withstand the water. Uh, and of course, you have got the beautiful ice pendant in here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you can use a varnish, maybe a, a you know outside varnish, uh, and then you have got in here that gorgeous um, 215 centimeters of gorgeous detail trim, 38 pounds and 50 pence. And you can see in here that this is not exactly this one. I oh, know it's it's not, but but you can see in here how you can bring your oxidation or exciting exciting powders in here you can bring your mica powders you can bring your acrylic paints you can bring your gilding waxes you can heat it up and make sure that it molds perfectly to the shape look at how these shapes have been kind of under her bust you know they go in perfectly i was thinking just like maybe this could be like for uh, you know anyway <laughs> it's like for under the bust that used to decorate if you if you do cosplay for instance that sort of element, sometimes the cosplay that you put like a, you know, that's anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, of course, there are, there are samples there. You remember that this one in here has been used with all different leftovers elements in here. And you can see how it comes in here, coming down perfectly in there. Now, of course, if you wanted to go for this item, a 084834 is your item number, 38 pounds and 50 pence. Now, of course, Sue will be back at 10 o'clock. And of course, that she will be showing, you will be showing other demonstrations uh, here at Hotenda. And of course, do tune in for that show what now i think it's what 10, 10, 10 o'clock yes i think i'm doing that show as well yeah i am doing uh, that show i was kind of thinking yeah i'm doing 10 o'clock now wh what what have we, we got planned for the next hour uh for the next hour we've got planned um coming back to this beautiful piece of furniture so i'll be showing you um how i got the effect on there and how easy it is to add the woody bend moldings to your furniture as well so you can see that um, I've completed um, half of this piece 
and what a difference that makes to a plain boring uh, piece of furniture and with the, the little piece there the corner piece you can see that that is actually lifted from the surface in places just to give that delicate lacy effect yeah. um, and how where I've um, gilded the trim look at the detail on that where it's standing up I've used a copper on there that's fabulous. Um, and the detail in those. It's really crisp and you've got so much detail in it there. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, thank you so much. So we'll see you thank at you. 10 o'clock. Please do check out your baskets. It is amazing what you can do with what you bend. Remember, it, you can drill it, you can heat it, mold it, bend it, uh, you can uh, wax it, acrylic paint. You know, it's so amazing. It's such a versatile product as well. And it kind of gives you another uh, dimension to your projects, whether it's upcycling, of course, or mixed media. Remember that this show and the next time, uh, the 10 o'clock will be on Rewind at, uh, later today. So you can catch up up to 60 days after this show. So it makes sense to go for it now and then you can get the inspiration anytime.